Hello everyone, welcome back to Magic Martial Arts and More. I'm your host Graham. Today we're going to be building this right here. It's a chain reaction with popsicle sticks and dominoes. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step to making this chain reaction with popsicle sticks and dominoes is to get dominoes and popsicle sticks. And then you're going to start by just lining dominoes up. There isn't like a pattern, you just need one side by side. Your popsicle stick lengths apart, far enough apart so you can put them at diagonals like that. But pretty, pretty simple and I'm gonna make my line pretty long. But if you run out of popsicle sticks in the middle of making it, it's easier to it's easy to cut it down short. So I'm almost done. You don't want your dominoes to be too close together, the chain reaction might not work. So if you measure, you should have about two dominoes worth of popsicle stick extra on the end. So now the next step is to set the popsicle stick like that. Okay, so now that you have the popsicle stick like that, you're going to cross and put it just like that. And you want to kind of angle it as far as you can that way so then you can set your next popsicle stick on and the next one and the next one. And you just keep doing this. And it looks like I'm going to end up making my line longer. Because I have more popsicle sticks. But this is a pretty simple chain reaction. You can have dominoes leading up to it. And to set it off, you have to push down this domino right here. This one right here. You have to push that one down so like you could even have a domino pathway going through the center and then it knocks it down and then the sticks then fall down but if you were to do that you would have to put a domino underneath each one of those so it would have it would be taller to do it but this is the simplest way here if you just want to put it in a Rube Goldberg machine you're making or something like that. Now I'm going to speed this up and then finish. Be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I did small sticks and then I ran out of small sticks and I wanted to make it bigger. So of course I got bigger sticks. I'm interested to see how the big sticks will work. I haven't tried those out yet. Then I just put a domino pattern leading up to that one that I said that would have to fall to knock it all down. And as you can see, I did a two direction split since I was running out of room at the table. So that only meant that you made like a triangle on this one stick there. But overall, I think this turned out good. And well, let's watch it fall down.
Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and attempt to build this on your own. Grams out. And don't forget to check out my other domino video on how to make a domino tower. Grams out again.